Hey everyone, Saints Ben back again with another import export DLC video. Today we're gonna be talking a little bit more about those unreleased cars because we actually now know the prices of them and how much they're gonna cost to upgrade at Benny. So hopefully by the end of this video you will have a better idea on if you want to purchase those vehicles. Now once the mods do get updated for single player for GTA 5 with this new update, I will go in single player and show you guys all the customization. So you can truly determine if you want to purchase them. We still don't know the release dates, but at least now we know the prices and we will know the customization soon. So you can have a better picture in your head of what the cars are going to look like and if you want to purchase them. Before we get into that though, because... Alright, look at these pictures. This, this is, These are from Wild Brick 142. L that is insane. So we thought the deadline adversary mode was crazy, right? And the deadline suit and bike... They are going a step further, man. I guess these are aliens. I, I don't know. Well, they're going to be part of some sort of adversary mode. I don't know what it's going to be about. But that is the outfit. And I'm imagining we're going to be able to purchase them in free mode since Rockstar did add the illumination option to our interaction menu. So in addition to the deadline outfits, we'll also have these that glow. And they are pretty damn crazy. You can see this is what they look like at nighttime when they do glow. I mean, that's just... <laughs> It's so weird looking. Who would have ever thought we would have had something like that, you know, in GTA Line three years ago when it first launched? But I'm I'm excited for it. I don't know again if the adversary mode's gonna be good, if it's gonna be completely broken or whatever, but having those outfits in online I think would be awesome. And then here's another picture from the adversary mode. This is the juggernaut suit. So I I don't know if it's like aliens versus juggernauts or what, but <laughs> that is some crazy looking suits. I don't think we'll be able to get these in online or in free mode apart from maybe glitching them. But uh, they do have some glowing features, their eyes, and then like you see on their hips, they that part glows. But yeah, I think that would be a little bit too overpowered in in free mode if you could wear some giant juggernaut suit. Although it looks awesome. I, I hope they'd put it in, but I would not be surprised if it's just a part of the adversary mode. Now, as for the prices. So, we'll start with the Trafade Nero. This one, I thought this one was going to be like the most expensive, but surprisingly it's actually not that bad. So the regular Trafade Nero, just to buy the car, is $1.4 million. $1,440,000. That's the, the base price. Then, to upgrade it in Benny's to get the custom version, it's $605,000. So not that bad, to be honest. You know, That's like a normal Benny's car, Benny's upgrade price. So total, just to get the custom version of the Nero, it's going to be around $2 million, which is cheaper than the T20, cheaper than the X80, cheaper than you know some of the other cars. So... That's not a bad price, especially if it is one of the high-end or top-performing cars in the Super Class. The next one you can see, the Dubashi Spectre. This one is six hundred grand with a two hundred fifty-two thousand dollar custom price tag. So again, about seven-ish hundred or about eight hundred thousand dollars to to get the car, which for a sports car, which hopefully is you know up, up to par with the Masakro, I think that's a good price. The Progen Italia GTB. This one is one point. Two million dollars to get the base model, and then four hundred ninety-five thousand to get the custom version. That one, I don't know. I, I feel like that one might be like one of the worst cars. Like, and I say that while loving all the other ones. So, like, for it to be the worst one in this class of cars, like that's not saying anything bad. That's actually pretty damn good. But I don't think it's gonna be as good as performing, or good, you know, in terms of performance as the Nero. It might be on par with like the Tempesta that came out. But hopefully it'll have some good customization for that price tag. But again, not that bad. Only like, what, $1.7 million for that car customized at Benny's? As for the Comet Retro, this one, you don't need the... Or it's not going to be a separate car. You just need an original Comet. So you can find those on the street. And then the custom or the upgrade price at Benny's is going to be 645000 And then for the bike that's coming out, the FCR, the Pegasi FCR... It is 135,000 to buy and then 196,000 to customize. So, you know, 3-ish $400,000 at, you know, the max for that upgrade there. So, not that bad at all. Surprisingly, these prices are pretty reasonable. I mean, yeah, it sucks that the special vehicles and all the other stuff, you know, cost a ton of money, but the prices for the cars aren't that bad, you know, comparing it at least to some of the stuff they've done in the past. But those are all the prices. Those are some pictures with or from the new adversary mode what do you guys think of that that is just i don't know man that's absolutely insane looking i gta line who would have thought even though some stuff you're still scratching your head about who would have thought we would have had some some potentially actual fun stuff 
and crazy looking stuff in the game. But that is it with the video. So thank you all for watching. Drop a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe for more awesome GTA content. And as always, we'll see you guys in the next one.